strings of control, the puppeteer's symphony. It was a dark and stormy night. The wind howled through the trees, and the rain beat relentlessly against the windows of the old abandoned mansion. Inside, a group of teenagers huddled together, seeking shelter from the raging storm. They had stumbled upon the mansion while on a camping trip and decided to take refuge inside until the storm passed. As they huddled around a crackling fire, one of the teenagers, Jake, pulled out his guitar and started strumming a tune. The others joined in, and soon they were all singing along to the lyrics of their favorite song. They sang with such enthusiasm that they didn't notice the eerie silence that had fallen outside or the strange creaks and groans coming from the old mansion. But then, as they reached the chorus of the song, the fire suddenly went out. Plunging them into complete darkness, they stopped singing, their hearts racing with fear. After a few moments, the fire flickered back to life, but something was different. The atmosphere had changed, and they could feel a sense of unease creeping over them. Suddenly, they heard a faint sound coming from upstairs, and it was a slow, melodic tune, like a music box playing a haunting melody. They exchanged nervous glances before cautiously making their way up the creaking stairs. As they reached the top, the music grew louder, and they followed it to a room at the end of the hallway. The door was slightly ajar, and they pushed it open to reveal a small, dusty room. In the center of the room was a large, old-fashioned music box, its lid open and the music still playing. But what caught their attention the most were the life-size puppets scattered around the room. They were old and worn, their strings tangled, and their faces twisted into sinister expressions. As they approached the music box, the puppets suddenly sprang to life, their strings pulling them into a menacing dance. The teenagers watched in horror as the puppets seemed to be controlled by an invisible force, their movements becoming more erratic and terrifying with each passing moment. Jake, who had been playing the guitar earlier, suddenly felt a sharp pain in his hand. He looked down to see that his fingers were being controlled by the strings of the guitar, as if he was a puppet himself. His friends tried to help him, but they too were being controlled by the puppets, their bodies moving against their will. The music grew louder and more chaotic, and the puppets danced faster and faster, until it seemed as if they were about to break free from their strings. Suddenly the music stopped, and the puppets fell to the ground, lifeless once again. The teenagers, released from the puppet's control, stumbled out of the room in a daze. They never returned to the old mansion, and they never spoke about that night again. But every time they heard the song, they couldn't help but feel a chill run down their spine, remembering the horror they experienced in that old abandoned mansion. Years later, the mansion was demolished, and the music box and puppets were never found. Some say that the spirits of the previous owners who were known for their love of puppetry, were still trapped inside the mansion, controlling the puppets and spreading fear to anyone who dared to enter. Others believe it was the work of a vengeful puppet master, seeking revenge on those who disturbed his resting place. Whatever the truth may be, one thing is for certain. The song will always be associated with that fateful night and the terrifying events that occurred in the old abandoned mansion. Thank you for diving into the spine-chilling mysteries with Chills Unveiled. If you've enjoyed the eerie tales and creepy narratives that send shivers down your spine, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more hair-raising content. Hit that notification bell so you never miss an unveiling of the unknown. Join the community of thrill-seekers and let the darkness unfold. Subscribe now and let the nightmares continue.